Hey everybody, um, I'm going to do this video because of um, the anniversary of Pearl Harbor. Um, it happened on December 7th, 1941. Basically, um, it, was a, it was a Sunday morning. Uh, Japanese airplanes uh, came over across the Pacific Ocean um, and pretty much bombed um, several um, of our battleships and other ships that were um, stationed at Pearl Harbor. Um, they also attacked um, the hospitals that um, so our soldiers were at. There was a lot of damage. Um, today, um, there are still um, bullet holes in the buildings there. Um, basically, um, it was a surprise attack on um, at a naval base at Hawaii. The attack pretty much um, devastated our entire um, naval fleet. Pretty much, we lost quite a many quite many ships there. Um, men were trapped. And below um, in the ship, they couldn't escape. It was filling up with water. It was just a pretty much, I would probably have to say, probably like a nightmare for um, the American soldiers at that time. Um, throughout, you know, that pretty much what caused us to enter um, World War II the next day on December 8th. Uh, FDR. Uh, pretty much famous uh, quote from his speech was it will day we will live in infamy which is fairly true um, if you have studied history it has been a very it's one of the most tragic uh, moments in our history there has been other ones but this was I think this was like the most horrifying experience because these, these men underneath the ships that couldn't, couldn't escape they knew that they were going to die they knew that they were going to drown and soldiers after the attack um, soldiers have you know went over trying to you know pry open um, turned over ships trying to get their fellow crewmen out but uh, they just couldn't they their ships pretty much became uh, those soldiers of graves I mean they're they pretty much all drowned um, I'm not sure if this is true um, if somebody does know I'll leave a comment below but um after World War II ended and some of the soldiers that have survived that got off the battleships um, wanted to be buried with um, their crewmen in uh, the ships. Um, if you do know, if, if you know if that was true, um, let me know in the comments below. But um, during the um, battle during the attack of Pearl Harbor um, there were uh, a few um, soldiers who actually got planes off the ground to shoot down Japanese planes not a whole many but uh, they were managed to shoot down some I mean there were some famous um, you know we all heard of uh, the battleship Arizona which is a real famous battleship um, that got sunk. There men. There were other ones, but it seems like Air, the battleship Arizona is the most famous uh, battleship at Pearl Harbor. They. Um, this would cause uh, other um, men to go fight to sign up to fight due to due to this. Um, 
so we really this really pushed America into World War II. You know, it was the speech from FDR um, seeing how a lot of men uh, dr pretty much you know, some men got drowned, uh, shot at, and died. You know, it was pretty much like a, a massacre. I wouldn't say like a massacre, but a lot of death occurred at Pearl Harbor, and this really motivated uh, several a lot of the men on the mainland to sign up and go fight. Um, you know, you might have might have relatives that fought in World War Two. You know, there were two theaters on um, one Pacific, one European. And it's pretty much like we we this really got America motivated and saying, okay, we're in this because we were fighting we weren't in World War Two yet but there we did have um, some of our soldiers did fight for Britain you know volunteered to fight with uh, Britain soldiers because they were already in, in um, World War Two by this time so it's really um, a heartache of fame of how many uh, soldiers we have lost at Pearl Harbor and generally you know World War II altogether but it was Japan won that uh, surprise attack but as we all know in history the Allies which was consist of um, United States Britain and Russia pretty much kick uh, Germany, Japan, and Italy, which are where the Axel powers rear ends. So um, even today, I believe um, there's still oil from the battleship and other ships that have sunk at Pearl Harbor still leaking oil you know in the oceans um, I'm not sure if this is true also as you, uh, as you know in the comments below at one time they were going to they wanted to bring up um, the ships at Pearl Harbor I think I've heard of heard them talking about that, but for me, I really think that that they should let that go. I mean, this was that's the men that have drowned in those ships. That is their grave. That is where they died. That is where they should stay. I mean, they're they're locked up. You know, pretty much no like sharks or anything can get get through there I think the um, glass below where they were stuck at it's pretty uh, strong glass so that is their that is the soldiers grave that is where they died that is where they should stay so and um, like I said earlier in this video, um, if you do know that if um, some of uh, World War II veterans who have passed away that wanted to be buried with their um, crewmen from maybe the ship that they served on, uh, let me know in the comments below. I, mean, I think I have heard of it, but I'm not sure if it's true. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, I wanted to do this video because of um, the anniversary of the of the attack on Pearl Harbor so um, I'll see you on my next video bye